Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, that I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me to coach you every step of the way, step-by-step, -step, throughout your dating or relationship process and journey, and you want me to become your personal dating coach long-term, then I have a special program just for you. Link is in the description below also, and I can help you out personally again, one-on-one -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new Girls Night card game. It's officially out. So if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my Girls Night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh, He's Toxic, period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also, if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video. And this video is titled, Why Do Men Disappear and What to Do When They Try to Come Back? Right, ladies? So you trying to figure out, you say, see, why did this man end up disappearing on me? Why did he end up ghosting me? Why does he ignore me? Why does he neglect me? Why does he act like he doesn't even care, right? Why does he be here one day and I don't hear nothing from this man for a few days at a time or a whole week? And you start hearing from this man like one day and then it take him, you know, three days or a whole week or longer to get back to you and you like why did he disappear and then all of a sudden he just popped back into your life like nothing ever happened this man act like everything cool this man act like ain't nothing wrong and you like wait a minute why are you so inconsistent with me why do you keep feeling like it's okay for you to come back into my life whenever you feel like it why is it that you know every time me and you talk or we get close and you know I'm feeling you and you feeling me this man pull back or he ghost you or he just in and out hot and cold like you can't never get a good hold on this man cuz he always inconsistent with you or he just always disappearing here and he here one day then he gone the next day and then he just pop back in whenever he feel like it, right? And then you trying to figure out what to do when this man do come back. Because when this man come back and he keep coming back over and over and over again, you trying to figure out what's the reason why he keep disappearing and coming back. And then you trying to figure out what to do because... A lot of times you know that it's not fair to you to allow this man to just come in and out your life whenever he feel like it. You know it's wrong. You know that don't feel good to you when this man is inconsistent and he just contact you or text you or call you or come see you whenever he feel like it. 
and it's not consistent on your terms. It's on his terms all the time. You know what I'm saying? And you like, you don't like the fact that you are always the initiator or you're always the one chasing him or you're always the one pursuing him and he just, you know, gives the bare minimum effort or he does a lot you know, at one time, and then he pulls it all away, you know, and he just ghosts you out the blue. So you trying to figure out what to do when this man comes back. Should you let him back in or should you not let him back in? Or what should you say to this man when he comes back and what he disappeared for in the first place? Okay, so ladies, without further ado, we going to jump right to this video, right? And I'm going to give you my top five. Yes, five reasons why. A uh, man just might disappear on you and what to do when he come back. I'm going to tell you what to do when he comes back and what to say to him when he come back towards the end. But right now, we're going to get to the five reasons why he disappeared. This is why he disappeared, okay? So number one. The first reason why this man then disappeared on you, then he pop up like nothing never happened, is he has another woman. So this man, he involved with another woman. He got a girlfriend. He got a fiance. He got a wife. He got a baby mama. He got an ex. He got some little chicken head that he just kicking it with. Either way it go, he got some other female, some other woman, another girl. He got another woman, okay? It's somebody else in the picture other than you, right? So this man, what he doing is he bouncing back and forth between all these different women, right? So he might be going back to one woman, right? It might be his ex or his baby mama or his or his wife or whoever, you know? He might have a whole girlfriend, a whole wife, you know? But a lot of times he might be dating other women too, you know? Maybe he just got a little girlfriend on the side or a girl that he entertaining on the side, but he also dating multiple women outside of you too, you know? So this man, he not just dating one woman. He might be dating multiple women or he might be dating one woman. Either way it go, he ain't got enough time for you, right? So he cannot divide up all his time between okay, you know, my wife at home or my girlfriend at home or my baby mama or, you know, my my ex or whoever, hey, you know, I'm trying to be with her a lot and she demanding of my time. So when it's time for her and she want her time, hey, I got to give her her time because she first priority. And you, you know, you get the scraps. You get the leftovers. You know, whatever's left over outside of me dealing with the girl that I really like, Hey, you know, you'll get the you'll get the leftovers, you'll get the scraps, right? But you don't want no scraps. You want the whole thing. You want the whole meal. You don't want the breadcrumbs. You want the whole loaf, right? So you don't want this man to just be, you know, messing around with all these different women and then come back to you just like everything okay. So that's the reason why he disappeared, cause he busy. He busy. He might tell you, oh, I'm so busy. I'm so busy. You know, I ain't got no time for you. I'm so busy. Sometimes translation, I'm busy with another woman or other women and I ain't got time to be, you know, giving you all my attention. So when I disappear, that's because I'm in another woman's face. That's why he disappeared. Because he in another woman's face in the meantime of his disappearing act, right? And then the reason why he disappeared also is because he don't want to get caught. This man, he do not want to get caught with his ex or his baby mama or his wife or whoever the girl is, his girlfriend. He don't want her to find out. He don't want her to catch up and, you know, read y'all messages or, you know, find out other evidence that y'all two been hanging out and stuff like that so he trying to keep you on the down low right so he trying to just you know push you off to the side and kind of you know hit you up call you text you you know here and there when he can when he away from her then he could text you right when he ain't around her oh yeah i, I could text you i could be all up in your face we could we could talk we could engage we could interact right but when she around, hey, I can't text you like that because, hey, you know, 
she around and I don't want my phone to be dinging and going off or I don't want you to be popping up when she around. So I'm trying to keep you over there so you don't get the wrong idea and and or so I don't get caught, right? So this man, he don't want to get caught. So that's the reason why he disappeared on you and popped back in your life because he got a time in a, in a place to where he can only talk to you. He can't talk to you 24-7 because she around. So he got to find some time in his schedule to slip and, you know, text you or call you or talk to you when he got some available time, right? So one thing that you got to understand is that a lot of men nowadays, they may or may not be dating multiple women or dating a specific woman outside of you. You know what I'm saying? Like if you just met this guy or you just trying to, you know, start meeting this guy and you're trying to figure out, you know, if you like him or not, you know, it's the beginning stages. Y'all just started dating and stuff like that. A lot of times you're not first priority. A lot of times it's another woman in the picture that he was already talking to previously or already built something up with or somebody from the past or somebody current that he with right now and he cheating. You know what I'm saying? And now he just want to talk to you on the side. You know what I'm saying? So he trying to keep you on the side. That's what it is. He got a main girl and he trying to get to know you. So you're not really a priority right now. You know, he's still learning about you, trying to get to know you. You trying to get to know him. So he like, I don't really know. That's not for sure booty. My for sure booty over here or my for sure booty at home, you know. So I'm going to deal with that when I deal with that. You know what I'm saying? But you, I'm going to get around to you. You know what I'm saying? Whenever. So that's the reason why this man you know, he disappear on you and he ghosts you and stuff like that because he entertaining another woman. So guess what? When the conversation gets shorter with you, a lot of times that means it got longer with another woman. I'm going to say that again. When the conversation gets shorter with you, then a lot of times the conversation got longer with another woman. So he talking to another woman. It's somebody else in the picture, and that's the reason why he's not talking to you as much no more. Or never at all. That's the reason why he always being inconsistent or always be disappearing. Or that's the reason why all of a sudden he start being inconsistent and start disappearing on you. A lot of times it's because it's another woman that he is entertaining and that got his attention over you, right? So that's number one. So number two, the second reason why this man just might disappear in your face and he'll just do a magic trick and disappear one day and pop up the next day like nothing ever happened is he is afraid of getting too close to you. So, a lot of times this man, he afraid of getting too close to you because it may have been a time in his life where a woman or a bunch of women have broke his heart, right? They broke his heart and they may have, you know, left him, they cheated on him, they dogged him out, they emasculated him, they made him feel like he was less of a man, less of a person. You know, they just dogged him out, right? The women, they didn't want to be with him, but they used him for his money or they betrayed him. You know, they they burnt that man. You know, that man, you know what I'm saying? They messed him up in the head, right? So he don't trust women. He don't trust women at all because of his past history with women. His past experiences with women that he's dated or have encountered or tried to date or tried to pursue, tried to chase. Them women, they didn't like him. They weren't feeling him or they used him, whatever. They played him in his face. So he said, okay, from this day forward, I will never, ever trust another woman again. And I will never, ever give another woman my heart. Because the last time I gave a woman my heart, guess what happened? She walked all over it, stomped all over it, and kicked me to the curb, right? So I have to protect my heart. I never want to feel like that again. I never want to get close to another woman like that again and feel that vulnerable 
to give another woman my heart and my feelings and my soul and all of that. You know, I don't feel comfortable with giving a woman all of that because she just might use it against me or she just might betray me and leave me or hurt me, you know, in the process, right? And I don't want to be played again. I don't want to be hurt again. So now when this man starts, you know, dating women and stuff like that, it get to a certain point where when it starts to feel like, you know, y'all moving too fast or y'all starting to get somewhere or y'all getting real close and it's getting real intimate and y'all starting to like each other. He's starting to like you. You starting to like him. Y'all y'all starting to really feel each other. Now he's starting to feel like, oh, no, we getting too close. So what happens is this man, he self-sabotages the relationship. He self-sabotages the situationship. He self-sabotages the whole thing because he don't want to get close to you because he's afraid that you're going to do him the same way that them other women did. Them other women in his past dogged him out. So he felt like if I get close to another woman, she going to dog me out the same way or even worse. And I can't let that happen. I can't let no woman dog me out or hurt me or nothing. So I'm going to keep my feelings. I'm going to keep my emotions. I'm going to keep my love to myself. And, you know, I'm not going to give a woman my full self. I can never give a woman my full everything. No woman can ever get the full you know, heart, you know what I'm saying? She can get a piece of me. She can get a piece of my heart, you know, maybe I'll, you know, engage and maybe I'll entertain her a little bit. I'll involve myself in, in her mix a little bit, but when it get to a certain point and it start getting too serious, I got to back out because I'm afraid that you going to hurt me and I got trust issues, right? So this man, he got trust issues. He don't trust no women. He don't trust, it ain't even, it might not even be you that he don't trust. It's just, he don't trust no women at all. And it just so happened to be that you a woman that he don't trust. You know what I'm saying? So when, so when y'all start getting to a certain point, he want to pull away and back away and disappear and pull back and go no contact and kind of get distant from you because he don't really know how to process his feelings and emotions because he know that he really like you and his feelings are telling him to get closer to you. But also his brain and his mind is telling him to kind of back away because last time you felt like this and last time you were in love with a woman and you cherished the woman and you really wanted to be with her, she hurt your feelings. So, you know, that kind of make him in that conflicting stage where he like you, but he cannot move forward because he's afraid, right? And then he popped back in your life because he don't want to lose all the benefits that come with you. And then he really, really like you on top of that, but he don't really know how to fully trust you or trust any woman because he's just afraid, right? So that's number two. He's scared to fall in love. He's scared of trusting women. He don't want to get too close. So he back away and he's out the deal, right? But then he come back because he really don't want to. But so he just going back and forth with his mind and he going back and forth with you at the same time. So number three, the third reason why this man just might ghost you or just might disappear up in your face. And you don't know what happened to him. He just dropped off the face of the earth. And then he popped back like, what's up? Is the chemistry is not there. So maybe this man realized that, wait a minute. Me and this woman, we not so compatible as I thought we was. You know, maybe in the beginning, we was compatible or I thought we was compatible or maybe it wasn't compatibility. Maybe it was just lust. Maybe I just lusted this woman and maybe she lusted after me. And then, you know, we just kind of got together out of just our attraction for one another. But on the surface level, you know, you look good. I look good. Let's be together. Or, you know, we just kind of looked at each other on, on surface level, what each other had. But the chemistry between us, it ain't really working. So we passed the attraction level, right? I see, I like what I see and you like what you see or you feeling me, I'm feeling you. 
you know what I'm saying, as far as just, you know, lust, right? But when it comes to actual, you know, connection and chemistry and having things in common, you know, our personality don't really match up. You're into other things that I'm not really into and or, you know, you feel a certain type of way or you got certain type of morals and values that I don't necessarily believe in. Maybe it might be, you know, religion. Maybe it might be, you know, politically, you know, maybe it might be, you know, a whole bunch of spectrums of, you know, differences that y'all might have different beliefs on, you know, y'all view the world differently. Y'all got different types of aspects and per perceptions on the world. You know what I'm saying? And this man, like, long term, this woman, I can't really see a future with her, right? I don't really see us mashing up together, you know? Like, she might be cool to kick it with right now, you know? Like, yeah, it's cool to get to know her. Yeah, she cool. But I don't think that she the right woman for me, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe y'all lifestyles don't add up, right? Maybe it's y'all lifestyles or maybe it's y'all schedules don't line up. So let's just say, you know, you work all day long, but he work all night long. So while you at work, maybe you can't be on your phone for real, but he at home all day. So y'all can't really talk like that, you know, here and there, or y'all can't really see each other like that. And then, you know, when, when he is at work at night, you sleep. So y'all might miss each other like that, you know, or y'all schedules just never align. He always busy. You always busy. Y'all never got no time for each other, right? Where y'all going in life, y'all careers or y'all businesses, y'all jobs, you know, y'all schoolwork, whatever. Y'all got two demanding stuff in y'all life that y'all not even ready for a relationship between y'all two, or maybe, you know, just the type of relationship that y'all two want or expect, y'all can't do it because y'all, because y'all schedules collide with each other, right? And sometimes, you know, maybe he got turned off by you. Maybe it was something that you said. Maybe it was something that you did. Maybe it was a way how you acted. Maybe it was a way how you reacted towards something. Maybe it was your thought process behind something. Maybe, you know, like I said, it was your morals and values and beliefs of what you believe in, what you stand for. Maybe he like, we are two separate pages, you know, and I just can't get with that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you got certain habits that he don't really necessarily like or maybe it's just something about you that he just not feeling right over time he like i don't really like her like that like i was trying to get to know her but i don't really like her like that right now you may ask me see okay if you don't like me like that and we ain't really working out like that and if the chemistry not there and the connection not there and all that right why did this man come back if he not feeling me and he don't feel like we good long term, what's the reason why he come back to me, right? The reason why this man comes back to you is because this man, he still wants the benefits of you. So he still wants the sex, the emotional support. He still wants all the money you spend on him. He still wants, you know, the companionship of a woman by his side, right? So again, it might not necessarily be you per se. He might say, okay, I don't really like this woman long term, but right now, you know, we can kick it or I can still kind of have her in my life. I can still kind of get the booty still and, you know, keep her on the side and maybe still interact with her, even though I know that I don't really want her long term. I'm not really feeling her like that, but I kind of keep her on the line. I kind of keep her it on bait. You know what I'm saying? I kind of keep her in the background on the back burner just in case. You know what I'm saying? I, I can always have something to come back to because she like me. So I always know I got something to come back to since she like me. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not really feeling her right now. Right? So this man is just saving you for later and he just want to come back just to use you. Right? But he don't want to be with you long term. And sometimes he might even tell you I'm not trying to be with you long term or I don't want a girlfriend, period. I'm not ready for a girlfriend. I don't believe in marriage. I'm not ready for a wife. You know, stuff like that, right? 
So if this man told you stuff like that, then you got to believe what he said. And you cannot try to change him or try to force him to be something that he already told you what it was, right? So if he told you, I don't want to be with you, then believe him. And a lot of times his actions are clearly showing it because he disappearing because he don't really care. You know what I'm saying? He disappearing because he like, I don't really, I'm not. I'm not really feeling her like that, but I guess, you know, I'll still entertain her here and there, right? So that's number three. So don't get caught up in that, okay? So number four, the fourth reason why a man just might disappear on you and ghost you in your face and you sitting there wondering what happened and then he popped up like nothing happened is... He is just dating to boost up his self-esteem. So it's a lot of men that you got to be careful about because they're just dating women to boost up their self-esteem. Meaning the only reason why he even got your number in the first place, the only reason why he entertaining you, going back and forth, texting you, you know, trying to get you to like him and trying to, you know, go back and forth with you and entertain you and show some interest in you and then pull it all away is he just wanted to see if he could do it, right? He just wanted to see if he could pull a woman like you. He just wanted to see if he could catch a woman like you. He just wanted to see if he could just get a woman like you. And once I get your approval and your attachment, and once I get you hooked on me, and once I get you wanting me and wanting more time out of me, wanting to spend more time, wanting to hang out with me, you start liking me and stuff like that, that's all the validation I needed. So I just wanted to chase you so you could chase me back. So now I could pull away and you could keep chasing. Yeah. So that's exactly what he wanted to do. So he only showed you interest. You may say, Sid, why is he showing me so much interest up front? And then now he not showing me no interest because it was a trap the whole time. That was the pullback method. He used the pullback method on you, right? So he showed a lot of interest up front to get you hooked and get you attached to him and get you feeling like, oh, this guy really liked me. Wow, I really enjoy all the time we spending together. I'm starting to like him. He funny, he smart, he's starting to grow on me. Hey, I might give this man a chance. And then you start liking him, y'all start hanging out, you start really feeling him, right? Then right when he know that he got you, now he like gotta, I could pull all that away. Once you start, you know, showing your interest level and you start texting me, good morning, handsome, good morning, king, have a good day. Or once you start spending all your money on me, or once you start giving me booty on demand whenever I want to, or whenever I want it, you know what I'm saying? Whenever you start doing anything for me, or you just you know, giving me so many compliments or you just really feeling me, you tell me how much you care about me, how much you like me, how much you enjoy my company, right? Now he know I got her now. I got her right where I want her. That's too easy, right? It's way too easy. So once he got you attached, now he like, I can pull all the way back and I don't have to invest into her no more. Because now, guess what? She going to be doing all the chasing. So he only pursued you, showed interest in you, so you can show interest back and you can start getting attached to him. And now he pulled all the way back everything. And now you're stuck wondering what happened? What happened? Why did this man just gonna ghost me like that? As soon as I start liking him, you may feel like, wow, I didn't even like him like that at first. I wasn't even feeling that man at first. But you know, I started to give this man a chance and now he ghosted me. Why he ghosted me and he was pursuing me so hard in the beginning? Because it was a trap. It's, that's all he wanted to do was trap you and make you the chaser. So just to boost his ego. So now that you chasing me, now that you like me, now that you're wondering what happened, what happened? Why, why don't this man like me? Or why ain't this man showing me all this attention that he was showing me in the beginning? Why this man not pursuing me and chasing about the me like how he was before? What happened? Why it stopped? Why did all that stop? How do I get that back? Hmm. 
Where is that love? Where is that affection? Where is that attention that I need that? I need that. How you going to give it to me and I start liking you and then you pull it all away from me, right? So it make you as a woman go crazy in your mind. So now you're trying to see what's up. Why Why you acting shady? Why you acting different? And that's when he get into your head and now you're chasing him. And now you're wondering, calling him, texting him. When can I see you? When can we have more time to spend together? You know, what's up? What's going on? All that's doing is boosting his ego because he like, it's too easy. Yeah, this woman, look at her. She's so pathetic. She likes me so much. She chasing me so hard. She want to see me so bad. Yeah, and I ain't want to see her no more. I ain't trying to see her. I just wanted to go fishing, right? A lot of guys, I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of men, when they are dating, they not dating with a purpose. A lot of you women... You may be dating for a husband. You dating with a purpose, right? But a lot of men, they may not be dating with a purpose. Some of them are. A lot of them are. But it's a lot other men that's only dating casually. They only want to date casually. They only want to date for fun. I hang out with this girl. She cool. Whatever. You know, I talk to the side. I hang out with this girl. It fizzle out. You know, whatever. You know, we done. Me and this girl, we got into it. Uh, I don't want to talk to her no more. So he just exploring the world, having fun, and he don't want to settle down. So this man is literally going fishing. So what he does is he gets the little bait, right? He, he gets his fishing rod and he gets his little bait. The bait is, oh, you know, baby, I care about you so much. You know, I want to be with you one day. I'm starting to like you. You know, let me take you out. Let me spend all this money on you. Let me buy you this. Let me take you here. You know, all the whining and dining, all the romantic stuff when he trying to pursue you and trying to get you, you know, that's the bait, right? That's the bait. That's to get you hooked, right? So once he throw that bait in the water and you catch that bait and you start you know, get hooked on that bait. He pull you about the water, right? And now he say, hey, y'all, look, I caught a fish. And now he happy that he caught a fish. But he don't want to take the fish home. He ain't trying to, you know, cook the fish. He ain't trying to do nothing with the fish. All he want to do is just take a picture with the fish and say, hey, I caught a fish, a.k.a., hey, I caught a beautiful woman. Hey, I caught a beautiful, successful woman. And, you know, it was just a self-esteem boost. It just made me feel good that I could do it, that I was capable of catching a big fish, catching a, a amazing woman. And now that I done caught her, I can throw her back in the water because I, I don't really want her. I just wanted the satisfaction of getting her. So a lot of men, they don't want you per se. They just want the satisfaction that they could get you if they wanted you right so some men that's how that's really how it is they don't want you they just want to know that they can get you if they if they chose to get you i can get you you know just to boost their self-esteem just to say i'm the man i could get her i can i can seduce her i can put my little charm you know i can i can really manipulate and i got that charm I pulled out some good game. I laid the good game on her. You know, I made her really believe that she really, you know, was going to be my wife or something was going to really come out of this. And I got all the benefits of her. I may have got the sex and the money and everything I wanted out of her. And then once I'm done getting about it, and once I'm done getting everything I want about her, I'll just toss her out in the water because I don't really care nothing about her. But then the reason why he come back is because he wants some more of them benefits. So he like, wow, I don't want to just throw away that booty that I worked so hard to get. You know, I, I did put in a lot of effort to get it, even though I don't want it long term. But I still invested into it. So I still want to keep it on the line, you know, whenever I want to go back to it. You know, and show my trophy of the picture with me and the fish. I can always refer back to that, you know, to boost up my self-esteem again whenever it get low. So that's why he go back to you to boost back up his self-esteem because he know that you're going to keep chasing up after him. Right. But then he leave you alone to also make you keep chasing up after him even more, you know. So he don't want you. He just want your attention and he just want the validation that he could get a woman like you. And then he just throw you, 
to the curb somewhere because he didn't want you long term. He just wanted he just wanted the satisfaction, right? So that's number four. So number five, the fifth and last and final reason why a man just might disappear and ghost you and leave you like, what's up? And then he pop back like, hey, what's up? Is he is not financially stable. So one of the main reasons why a man just might ghost you that is not talked about a lot of times is the fact that this man, his money is not right, right? So as a woman, you got to understand that with men, men's self-esteem is directly tied to his finances, right? So if a man got a lot of money and money coming in and he holding it down and everything good on the good times, oh yeah, he happy, he's cheerful, you know, he want to be around you, he want to kick it with you, you know, he all lovey-dovey, you know, he's so romantic and all that, right? But as soon as something happened or when this man get tight on money or when, you know, this man starts struggling and his money not right, and stuff like that, or something happened to his income to where he not really making no money at all, or barely making any money, and he trying to figure some stuff out in survival mode, a lot of times he going to push you off to the side because I got to get my stuff together, baby girl. I can't kick it with you, and I can't be all up in your face, and I can't be lovey-dovey when I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to eat the next day right? How I'm going to be lovey-dovey and all emotional with you and stuff like that and talk to you on the phone all day and kick it with you and hang out with you and be emotionally available to you when I'm financially unstable, you know? So a lot of times when a man is financially unstable, then he will make that his number one first priority over a woman, over dating, over everything. He like, hey, I can't date right now. I can't date right now. You are a great woman and I want to date you and I want to provide you with a certain quality of, you know, courting and vetting and dating and stuff like that and so on and so forth. But I can't do it right now. I can't take you out on no date. I can't spend no money on you. I can't pull up and kick it with you and be all up in your face and lay up with you all day long and have sex with you all day long. He not even, he not even sexually aroused, you know, right now. I mean, a lot of men, they still going to be sexually aroused, but sometimes, but a lot of times when your money not right, then sex go on the back burner for certain men. Certain men they like, "Hey, I can't even I can't even be dating right now. I can't even be trying to spend no money or be emotionally available. I can't I can't, I can't do all that. I need to figure out how I'm gonna eat the next day, how I'm gonna put a roof over my head, how I'm gonna pay this light bill, how I'm gonna pay this car note, how I'm gonna pay all this stuff." You know, so he got to back away from you and get his stuff together. So it's nothing towards you. It's, it's no type of, you know, nothing you should take personally. Like, but it's something that he personally has to take care of within his own mind, his own self. Because his self-esteem is low because his money not right. So he know that as a man, he know that he's expected to be protector and provider. So he can only do one of those things. He, he may only be able to protect, but he can't provide nothing because he ain't got no money. So how he going to be protector and provider if he can't even provide for himself? So he's like, hey, I got to back off of everything and get me to a certain point so I can get you to a certain point. I can't spend no money on you. I can't go on dates and trips and give you gifts and buy stuff for you and pay for certain things. I can't do none of that because I ain't got no money. So I got to push you off to the side and get me together. But he don't want to tell you that his money low or he don't want to tell you that his money ain't right right now because he don't want to look like he broke or he don't want to look like he ain't got his stuff together and is going to run you off. 
So the easiest way to do is just pull back from this woman and get me together in the meantime. But I don't want to lose her because she a good woman and I like her. But the timing in my life right now, I'm just not ready to provide her with this type of, you know, courtship and dating experience that she should get. You know, because I can't even feed myself. So she deserved to be on all types of, you know, nice restaurants and nice trips and dates. And I can't do that, right? So let me get me together. And then, you know, I'm going to kind of put her on the back burner until I get back, until I get my stuff together, until I get my money up. If that ever happens or when that ever happens, then I'll be able to come back to her and bring her back something. But I found a good woman, but right now in my life, I ain't got the money to provide her with nothing. And I know she gonna leave because she a beautiful woman. And she probably got a whole bunch of guys that's ready to spend money on her. She got a whole bunch of guys ready right now. I'll take you anywhere you want to go. I'll fly you anywhere you want to go. I'll give you money to pay any of your bills. I'll do anything you know, to make you happy. And me as a man, I can't provide that. I can't compete with that. I can't give you that because I ain't got that for myself. So let me get me together and I'm gonna kind of hold you on the back burner on the line, you know, in the meantime, while I get me together and then I'll come back to you when I got something to provide. But again, that's not fair to you as a woman because, hey, you might really like the guy and he might really like you, but he can't give you nothing. So in the long run, it may or may not be a good idea for y'all to date because let's just say this man never get his money together. That's going to be a big, big, big reason why y'all might break up. Because this man not bringing in no money in the household. And you going to be doing all the work. If he don't bring in no money. Or he don't get back on his feet. Or he don't end up finding, figuring something out. Then guess what? You going to be the one paying for everything. And you going to start resenting that man. Because you like, why I got this grown, big, strong man in my house. Laying on my couch. And he not paying no bills. And I'm paying all the bills. You know what I'm saying? And, and you're not going to be respecting, you're not even going to respect that man because you're going to look at him like you're not even a man because you can't even, you can't even do what I can do for myself as a woman. So in the long run, you know, the finance part, you know, is big because you don't want to struggle. You don't want to have a man that you got to struggle with your whole life. And he know it. That's why he pulled away from you because he know it's not fair to you. His natural instinct is telling him it's not fair to this woman for me to be available all the time with her and I ain't got nothing to bring her. So let me go get what I got to get, but I don't want to lose her. But maybe it was the right woman, but wrong time, right? Maybe he was the right man, wrong time. Maybe just the time in his life right now, he not able to provide what you need, right? Even though you really like him and he really like you, it ain't going to work, right? So that's why he pull away. But he come back because he don't want to lose you and he's still trying to check in and do temperature checks and he don't want to lose you completely, but he just know that he not able to do nothing right now. So, but it's not fair to you to wait on him. Don't wait on him, you know? You don't have to sit and wait on no man to get his finances together, get his stuff together, which may or may not ever happen, you know? And then you stuck with a man that can't do nothing. No, you know, that's not fair to you. So sometimes you got to let this man go because he already trying to let you go sometimes because he know that he can't, because he know he needs to be working on something. So in the time when he disappearing, he really working hard trying to do something, trying to figure some stuff out or stressing out whatever he doing. Right. And it's not fair to you to be with a man that's stressing out and that's going to affect everything. Just like I said, his self-esteem is directly tied to his finances. So if his money low, his self-esteem is low for himself. So that means he going to treat himself bad. So that means if he treat himself bad and he treat himself poorly or he think poorly of himself because he don't feel like a man because he's not producing like a man, then guess what? Since his self-esteem is low, 
that means that the way how he treats you also is going to be low. If the way a man treat himself is low, then the way how he treat you is low. Because that's how he feel about himself. So since he's not doing well in life, he feel less of himself. And he going to make you feel like you're less of yourself to make him feel good. Because he don't feel good because he ain't making no money. So he got to find a way to feel good. And a lot of times that's when he's toxic to you in a, in a whole bunch of other ways. And he's like emotionally unavailable or he's like manipulative or he uses you or he lashes out and he gets so angry and he has, you know, anger issues and stuff like that. A lot of men have anger issues because they ain't got no money. And they mad at the world, but they really just mad at themselves. But they take it out on everybody else because they ain't got no money. But if he had some money, he the most happiest person in the world. So a lot of times you just need to get you a man that got some money that's able to support himself and able to take you out and, you know, actually court and vet and date you without it being any consequences of... He can't pay for nothing or now he's insecure because you making more money than him. A lot of guys, when they ain't got no money, now, now they're insecure because and they jealous. Now they jealous of you. You making all the money and now they jealous of you. They envious of you. They mad at you because you making all the money and you a woman and he a man and he not making nearly as much as you making. So now he feel even less of a man, right? So it's so many problems that come out of dating a man that ain't got no money. So definitely you want to get a man that got some money and now when his finances are good, that means that he's at a good mindset. That means that he could pour into you because his money good and his and his mindset and his head is clear. When your head is clear, you can give and do stuff. When your head not clear, he back away because he got to get his stuff together, right? So that's number five. And then he comes back again because he don't want to lose you. Even though he ain't got no money, he like, hey, you know, maybe I could give you, you know, just attention and just, you know, validation. And maybe I could talk to you on the phone and text you and just give you a lot of attention. I ain't got no money, but I got attention. So maybe, you know, until I get my money up, whenever that is, then maybe we can kick it, right? But until then, I'm going to keep you on the back burner, okay? Okay, ladies. So those are my top five reasons why a man just might disappear in your face. And now we're going to get into what to say and what to do when he come back. When this man come back into your life after disappearing, you know what you do? Don't answer. You know what you do? Block, delete, ignore, leave me alone, don't talk to me. Because you had your chance, you had your choice, and you played with me. You fumbled me. You played in my face, and you did not want me the first time. So I'm not going to give you a second chance to keep coming back in and leaving and coming back in and leaving whenever you feel like it. It's not happening. So guess what? When that man try to come back and try to say, oh, baby, you know, I miss you. I want to come back. I'm sorry. I was busy. Something happened. You know, so much been going on, but I'm back now. Tell him, nah, you should have stayed gone. If you was going to disappear on me, then guess what? Once you disappear on me, you better stay gone. I'm not the type of woman that's going to allow a man to come back in and leave and come back in when he feel like it. Nah, if you want me, be with me. If you don't want me, then don't be with me. But you better pick a side. And this man, he already picked a side. So once that man picks a side, then he better stay on that side, right? So if he want to disappear, then A, he didn't disappear forever. And he can't come back in because he messed it up. And now he'll never have access to you again because he should have appreciated you the first time, right? So, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Those are my top five reasons why a man just might disappear on you and what to say and do when he come back, a.k.a. block him in his face and delete him and ignore him forever. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification for me. And I'm out of here. So, to the next video.